Hi guys, I'm iFix Electronics Blog. Please click here to subscribe. Hi. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to repair a Vision 32 inch LED LCD TV. This TV is came from my co-technician from other repair shop. And the problem of this TV is mainboard MCU. Instead to replace the MCU itself, the other solution is to replace the whole mainboard. The only problem is there is no available same mainboard here in our place. So he asked me to convert the TV to other mainboard. Now the first step. We are going to create new LVDS connection, since the original LVDS is ribbon or flex type, and the LVDS used by the universal mainboard that we are going to use is wired type. Here is the LVDS data I make by myself for this kind of TCOM board, since there is no available LVDS data from internet. Feel free to have a screenshot copy in the LVDS data I made. Warning. Working with electronics is dangerous, if you the viewer, is not a qualified licensed electronics technician, or you don't have a basic knowledge in electronics, please don't try this by yourself, instead go to near electronics technician in your place. Now we are going to solder the wired type LVDS2 ribbon, or flex type LVDS one by one, we are just going to follow the LVDS data I present earlier. By the way, here is the LVDS data pin from the universal mainboard, we are just going to connect the 12V VCC, ground, 0 minus, 0 plus, 1 minus, 1 plus, 2 minus, 2 plus, C minus, C plus, 3 minus, and 3 plus, from the mainboard to the TCON board. After connecting the wired type LVDS to ribbon or flex type LVDS, I check again if the connection is correct, because one mistake can damage the mainboard, TCON board, and even the LCD. Before connecting the TCON board, I check if the 12 volts VCC is present and the other required voltages such as voltage gate high VGH and voltage gate low VGL. And after checking the voltages I connect the TCON board to the LCD and have the final testing. At first test it seems our LVDS connection is correct and the resolution of the universal mainboard is matched with the LCD. But we can see that there is a minor problem with the LCD display. The LCD is Solarize, but don't worry we can fix this through software editing. We are going to edit the Solarize mapping of the mainboard so it can match totally to the LCD. By using a remote control we are going to enter the service menu of this universal mainboard. We can try the code, menu, 1, 1, 4, 7. When we enter the service menu of the mainboard, we are going to find the LVDS mapping so we can edit it. Warning, be careful in editing the service menu of the mainboard, because one mistake it can damage the whole system, particular the program of the mainboard this is a big problem, if we are careless.
After editing the LVDS mapping in service menu, we can see that the LCD display become normal. Now let's try to input audio video source to overview our work. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. In that simple way, it's helped me to boost my dedication in sharing my knowledge to every electronics technician out there. Now this is the final result of our work. A Vision 32-inch LED LCD TV convert the original mainboard to universal mainboard. Success repair. Thank you for watching until to my next video.